What's up guys, we're back again with a Blitz. We are in the Saints playbook. I've recently switched over to that because of the 4-6 Bear. And play we're gonna go over is actually a cover two, but it can be ran out of anything. Um, you see the setup for this is to just shift your line left and crash them left. And you see if no one's blocking, uh, we're easily gonna get um, that left outside linebacker free. You, uh, you wanna make sure you blitz him and move him out if he's not already out like that. And I like to pull the other guy outside too because if I want to send pressure to the right, I can just quickly um, hot route uh, him into a blitz by doing the global blitz uh, adjustment. So you can see we can send pressure left and pressure right um, just by using global blitz. Uh, here's also dual edge, um, especially if it's like third and long. Um, you can do a dual edge pressure and you see we get both sides coming in free. Now, if they do block a running back on the side that you're sending the blitz, what's going to happen is that running back is actually going to pick it up. You'll see here, we'll try and blitz on the same side as the running back. And what's going to happen is he will pick up that edge blitzer. So the question is, how do we get it in with a blocked running back? Well, of course, you just want to send opposite of the running back. Even if they are blocking the tight end on the same side of the blitz with slide protection, the, uh, the blitz is still going to come in. That's why I like to put uh, both guys out wide. So no matter what they do, I can always send pressure from either way or even dual edge. So the first thing I like to do is break the huddle, uh, shift line left, crash them left, and then spread. And then I'll notice what side the running back is on. You see there we blocked the running back on the left, sent the pressure right, and it still came in. So if the running back is on the left, I'm on a... Uh, use the global adjustment to blitz the right of screen linebacker if the running back is on the left i use the global blitz to blitz the left of screen outside linebacker here you're going to see that the tight end is on the same side as blitzing we're sitting opposite of the running back and the tight end still does not block the blitzing outside linebacker so like i said the uh the best way to do is send it on the same side as the tight end if the running back is on the opposite if the tight end and running back are both on the same side i would just send it opposite of the running back uh, the next adjustment you can do is put the opposite side defensive end in any type of adjustment you want, whether it's a QB spy or a uh, man or even a zone. That's up to you. Now, if they're doing a lot of, say, max protection where they're blocking everyone, that's when I'll send the dual pressure. Um, either if they're max protecting a lot or, like I said, on third down. And you see, even if they max protect, uh, we still get the dual edge pressure coming in free. And if it's not dual edge, you definitely will get at least one guy free. If the running back picks up the guy that's blitzing on the side he's uh, on. So you see here, even if we uh, flip the formation, it's going to be the same result. doesn't matter. As long as you send opposite of the running back, we're still going to get this blitz in. That's what makes it so great is that it's unslidable, uh, especially with the tight end. Usually a tight end will block um, most blitzes, especially if it's to that side. But... You see, we're only sending four and they're blocking six and we're still getting a guy free. So last time, the setup for this is to just shift your D-line to the left, crash them left, see which side the running back is on, and then send the blitz opposite of that. And then you can actually zone the right of screen defensive end. Um, and sometimes you can zone the right of screen defensive tackle as well. So I don't do that as much. I put more of the uh, right of screen or left of screen defensive end in a man up QB spy in case they try and roll out or something like that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video on one of the best blitzes in the game. Remember, it's in the Saints playbook. It's on the 4-6 Bear. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more great content. And if you'd like to become a patron for all the best schemes, weekly tips, and the best content in Madden, head on over to the link and become a patron today.